Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial that's going to show you how to configure OpenVPN and PPTP VPN connections on a ASUS router. I assume that you've already configured your router and you know that how to log into it using its IP address or uh, you can also use router.asus.com and that will find your router. You obviously need to be connected to the ASUS uh, router to be able to access its web page and uh, also configuring would have involved setting up a username uh, sorry setting up a password for the Wi-Fi so in here I'm logged into an RTAC 66U most version 3 uh, firmware of uh, Asus routers will allow you to do VPN client connections but uh, I recommend that before we start that you head over to your Wang settings and where it says connect to DNS servers automatically switch it from yes to no and manually set alternative DNS servers so that your ISP DNS servers are not used in this particular example 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 represent Google DNS servers there are other alternatives Quad9, Cloudflare uh, you can acquire those uh, details online you just google for uh, DNS servers and you'll be able to use any of those in these little boxes here once you've typed in the IP addresses hit apply and the settings will save I've already done that on this particular router so I'm not going to click on it now so starting off with um, open VPN connections so there is a particular page that's this one here which I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can find it this is the one page out of the many other different pages that PIA have got to download OpenVPN configuration files but this is the one page that contains the correct OpenVPN configuration files that will work with the ASUS so you've got every country listed here and what these are are individual files configuration files for each uh, country uh, so when you click on one of these you're going to end up downloading a small file so the idea is that it, let's say you wanted to connect to USA Houston you would click on that and save that file and we're going to be using that file later on to configure the connection so where would we do that in your ASUS router under the VPN menu and then VPN client I've already configured to open VPN and PPTP service to test with you would click on add profile you would switch over to open VPN and you would type in uh, the name of the server that you're configuring you'd put in your username which is normally starts with P and then a series of numbers and then you would put in your password for your account you then hit browse and you go and find that file in your downloads folder or wherever it might be that you uh, saved it and in this case uh, we're going to go for a USA Houston for example and we've chosen it double clicked on it and then we need to click on the upload button and we click OK that has prepared an open VPN configuration VPN client connection sorry ready for use all you need to do is click on active activate now I've typed in gibberish into this so this won't connect it's just a sample of the steps I have put in correct login details for these two above and I'll be showing you some speed tests uh, in a second but let's move over to configuring a PPTP now PPTP is considered a little bit more secure it's one of the oldest VPN protocols around and it has been sort of cracked and hacked uh, but ultimately it's also a faster protocol because it uses a smaller encryption key 128 bits and it ends up being uh, quicker than OpenVPN having said that OpenVPN with PIA is actually using 128 bit AES encryption uh, so this means that the speeds are actually comparable with most other VPN services they go up to 256 bit encryption and the VPN speed depending on the model of your ASUS router 
so you've got your uh, budget end routers now if you think about VPN being a mathematical calculation it's an extremely intensive process where everything that every byte that goes in and out of your network needs to go through a formula so an open VPN formula is technically more complex than a PPTP formula um, so this burden of this calculation is down to the CPU on the router now routers were never really designed to do uh, or at least home routers were never really designed to do VPN so your mobile phone has got a far superior CPU than any uh, a router out there let's just put it for I mean to get to the spec that your mobile phone has you need to be spending 200 to 300 pounds uh, to do the same sort of CPU speed but going back to my point if the router has got a low spec CPU like the Asus RTAC51U uh, that model is pretty good at PPTP it will achieve 33 megabits um, per, uh, per second but um, on OpenVPN it will only achieve about uh, 7 or maybe 15 megabits with um, PIA uh, but with most other VPN providers it will achieve about 7 megabits per second and that slowdown is down to the CPU on the machine this particular model is a, a, dual, a dual core and there's another model the AC58U uh, which is a quad core and those models will get to about 30 megabits in general with most VPN companies uh, using OpenVPN and with PPPT they can hit up to 80 60 megabits per second so um, yeah the CPU of the router would dictate how fast your VPN connection will run and also obviously depending on the quality of service that you have in your VPN provider that will also limit how much you're going to have in bandwidth through VPN so setting up PPTP now the trick is you need to log into your control panel because PPTP connection doesn't use your normal uh, login details for your PIA account it uses uh, alternative uh, details so so you would log into your my account and you scroll down and you'll find this PPTP section and it would be blank if you've not generated a username and password yet and you would hit the button regenerate uh, username and password and it will create a new username and it will create a password and those are the login details that you need to use when creating the profile in the ASUS um, so that's that trick again for OpenVPN this OpenVPN generator that doesn't work the files that you get from this won't work with the ASUS it has to be from that page that I showed you that's got a list of all the servers so talking about a list of all the servers uh, you're going to need uh, the server name uh, for a PPTP connection and that's uh, provided uh, here so I'll also provide this link in the description so here's a list of uh, countries once again and when you click on a country you'll find the different server names and these are the server names that you need uh, to configure a PPTP connection so I would click here which opens up this window for a speed test but I would want to copy select this and I would copy this server name and all I'm doing here is right clicking after my highlight and choosing copy and that would be the server that you would uh, from whatever country you're choosing that would be the server that you would need for creating your profile so you head over to the ASUS router you hit add profile you hit uh, PPTP that's the default column uh, we'll say uh, UK and you'd put in your uh, server into the VPN server box and then you'd put in your alternative login details from that control panel uh, whatever it is and then you'd hit over to uh, PPTP options and you'd select MPPE 128 and you hit OK and that's how you create a PPTP connection uh, using a PIA service on an ASUS um, so I'm going to do a, a speed test I'm going to connect with OpenVPN
and we wait for that connection to take place and there it is connected and I'm going to run a speed test so I'm going to hit go well I'm going to reload this page because I think my IP address might change yeah to 196 and I'm going to hit go okay so I have been able to sometimes get over 30 megabits to 40 megabits with PIA I think this particular server is not the best one to connect to at this moment in time but there's a speed test and 5 megabits is my normal upload speed so that's my speed test with uh, OpenVPN protocol. Let's go back to the ASUS and connect it to PPTP. So we'll deactivate the one at the top and activate the other one automatically. I'm going to hit on speed test and again my IP address has changed because I'm connecting to a different server and I hit go and there you go so PPTP as you can see is a faster protocol now again about the security element of it and that it's sort of being cracked your ISP isn't going to go through the effort of hacking and cracking uh, a, a encrypted uh, connection PPTP is still encrypted it will still uh, you know uh, prevent your ISP from being able to filter into your connection uh, from blocking IPTV or from blocking particular websites it will uncensor your internet connection just as much as OpenVPN will uh, and ultimately uh, they're not going to like I said dedicate the resources to s do a um, crack on your traffic to decipher uh, your uh, encryption keys and then sort of be able to see uh, what your internet connection is uh, doing uh, it's a little bit beyond their um, scope of what they need to do as far as legally ob uh, obligated to block particular websites and block particular services in the UK or whatever country that you're in alright so and that's how it gets configured um, I hope you enjoyed this video in the description like I said will be all the links I do sell these routers and I also sometimes have uh, five-year VPN deals uh, that go for 50 60 quid uh, with certain VPN companies check the description if you haven't as yet have a VPN service uh, check my description there is normally I would put a really good deal to be had um, with uh, a company and um, I, uh, they are affiliate links and it would make me a small amount of commission and uh, that support is welcome so thank you very much for watching and take care